Welcome to Wood Gas Stove Science, where I attempt to learn the science behind wood gas stoves. This is secondary air inlet height experiments with temperature reading. I will move the secondary air inlets up and down and see how it affects the temperature readings. In this first test, which I call version 5.4.1, I take the secondary air holes and I move them up and down where I put one high, one medium, one low, one medium, one high, and so on. Uh, otherwise, the parameters are the same as version 5.4. The field parameters are kept the same throughout all these experiments, with one measured cup of wood pellets and just a splash of heat in the yellow bottle to get things going. The first part of the test had very few differences uh, from version 5.4, uh, but here again, I'm always amazed to see how much the flame stabilizes when you put the pot stand on. It goes from sort of an erratic uh, flame to a nice spin. Uh, here you can see that I'm testing the flame with my temperature probe. The video has been run at 2x, so it's not very boring. Um, I am using my temperature meter with a 700 degrees Celsius thermocouple probe. Unfortunately, it's, I thought it was rated at 800 Celsius, so I was dangerously close to burning it out. The high temperature for this burn, version 5.4.1, was 1517 degrees, or 825 Celsius. Wow, that's pretty hot. All these experiments are measuring right at the top of the pot stand. Uh, here's a view from the top of this burn showing you the nice spinning vortex uh, and again the flame was very similar to version 5.4 um, but we'll see how it stacks up against it it is still a beautiful flame well I'm very surprised that 1500 degrees is the temperature that it reached that's very impressive for such a small stove with such a small amount of fuel burning this next experiment is one that I call 5.4.2. Uh, I have added 16 1 8 inch secondary air holes below the original <coughs> 16 3 16 air holes around the top of the can. Uh, I kept the fuel parameters the same as the other experiments, which are one measured cup of wood pellets and a splash of heat from the yellow bottle to aid in starting the fire. Within the first couple minutes of burn 5.4.2, it was pretty noticeable that the flame was different. The gasifying and developing of a good flame were much slower than the previous designs, and the flames were staying much lower in the stove. But even with this burn, it was interesting to see how quickly it recovered and um, concentrated when the pot stand was put on. When I started measuring the temperature of the flame, uh, it was pretty obvious the flame was lower in this test, uh, and it was harder to find the hot spot in the flame. Um, it was not quite as strong of a flame. Um, even so, the temperature that it reached was 1437 degrees, or 780 degrees Celsius. Uh, still a very impressive temperature. When we take a closer look at this flame, uh, we can see that there are small blue bulbs of flame coming out of the eighth inch holes that are three quarters of an inch below the original holes, and the flame seems to be slightly lower below the original secondary air port holes. Uh, it's a very interesting looking flame. This next test is a reality check. Uh, it is really just version 5.4 um, and we're going to do temperature tests on it. Uh, here again we have the, the 16 3 16 hole evenly spaced around the top of the can and 41 quarter inch holes in the bottom of the can. The fuel parameters are kept the same as all the other experiments which are one measured cup of wood pellets and a splash of heat from the yellow bottle to aid in starting the fire. Right from the beginning you can see that beautiful spinning vortex and strong flame 
and how when the pot stand goes on, the flame stabilizes nicely. You can see the flame is spinning all the way up in that nice hot high flame. All of these tests in this video were done the same afternoon. The temperature within the garage was about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or about negative 5 Celsius. Uh, here you can see that right from the beginning um, of measuring it was very easy to find the hot spot. Basically the whole flame was hot at the top of the pot stand. Um, the temperature quickly rose into the 14 and 1500 degree Fahrenheit range. Uh, it looks like version 5.4 is still uh, the best design even with the temperature test at the top of the stand. The high temperature reached uh, in version 5.4.0 was 1536 degrees or 836 degrees Celsius. Version 5.4.1 and version 5.4.0 were both within 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But what this shows is that it's very important to have your, full, your secondary air ports nice and even around the top of the can because even an eighth inch lower or an eighth inch higher is going to affect the temperature by upwards of 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a good piece of information. I do love watching this vortex. Well, that concludes Wood Gas Stove Science Secondary Air Inlet Height Experiments with Temperature Readings. Um, thank you for joining me. Goodbye.